Hi, Fred B. here, and in this video I'm going to present a trigonometric derivation of the edge to height ratio of a regular dodecahedron. I became interested from my CAD work in working with dodecahedrons. So I went and I found some tutorials on how to construct them. In those tutorials, they use the ratio of a circle which circumscribes the pentagon used to construct the dodecahedrons to the height of the finished dodecahedron as uh, the parameter for the model. You can say it's parameterized to the diameter of the circle. The formula they use is 1 plus sine 18 and numerically that evaluates to about 1.3 so the final height is 1.3 times the diameter of the circle. I would find it more convenient to parameterize the dodecahedron model to this an edge length of the dodecahedron to the finished height. That's what this video is about. In order to do this we'll carry on with two provisions. One, the ratio of a regular dodecahedron edge length to the height is the same as the ratio of half the edge length to half the height. This should be obvious. The second provision is to use a length of 1 for half the edge length, and this will simplify the calculations, as you shall see. To begin our groundwork, we take a pentagon here, and this point is the center of the pentagon. As you should be able to notice, any apex here, a line going from the apex will go to the middle of the side. And we construct a line at 90 degrees from the middle of this side and go to the center, and then construct a line from this apex to the center. We know from our previous work in my earlier video, which here's a link to it, and you should review this video if you have any questions about the figures I come up with. We know that this angle here is half of our full 108 degrees and makes it 54, and this is our 90 degree complement to 54. This will be our first triangle of interest, and if we isolate that and use our second provision and set this side length to 1, we get a very simple formula for the length of this side, and that is simply tangent 54. Again, I'm using just basic right angle trigonometry, and I'm going to avoid going into the details of that. To begin our derivation, we need to go back and get our 108 degree angle from my first video, and construct some perpendicular lines from the center of each pentagon. In each of these lines will pass through the center of the dodecahedron. This one's here just to illustrate that a line from the center of this pentagon will also pass through the center of the dodecahedron if it's you know it started at the perpendicular to the center of the pentagon. So here we want to draw a line from this apex to the center of the dodecahedron. This will bisect that. 116.6 approximately degree angle and create our second triangle of interest. Now if we isolate this triangle we can add in our groundwork figure for the side length of this side and add in our this will be our angle we'll be used for our calculations and we'll call it theta. We know from my earlier video that the formula for theta here is arc sine of cosine 36 over cosine 18. Numerically, that works out to be approximately 15.8.3, rather, uh, 58.3, rather. And so, using this information, we can come up with a formula for this side, and that will be tangent 54 times tangent theta. We substitute in our numerical value and evaluate. We come up with a ratio of approximately 2.23 to 
to 1 for our final ratio of the edge length to the dodecahedron's height. This is where that provision 2 comes into play because we know originally we set half the edge length to 1 and we found a figure for half the height so 1 to 2.227 blah is our ratio. Now this number is directly becomes our final answer. Well there you have it then. The ratio for the edge length to a finished the height of a finished dodecahedron. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you find it useful and as always tips are welcome via PayPal. And finally, thanks for watching.